Hey guys, this is Megan here with another great video. <clears throat> a subscriber of mine uh, put a comment on my page a few weeks ago, and he was like, "Hey Jonathan, I think you should look up uh, hyperplasia, stress overload, whatever." Um, and uh, let me know what you think. And it's funny because I had done a research on that a while ago, and I made a video on it, and I, it was called. Um, it was a lot of topics in one video. I talked about X reps and um, things like that. That's before I went to France, and I was talking about how you know. People find out that X repetitions increases muscle mass. Because you don't know what X reps is, you could Google it. It's pretty much when you like um, at the weakest. I, I don't want to focus on that. It's too bad. It's, it's, I'm gonna get off topic. Pretty much, if you're doing a pull up, an X rep will be like you know you come up, and at the bottom before you go back, you, you want to do like two, like a quick um, partial rep at the bottom, like at the weakest point of the of the muscle. For bench press, you want to come all the way at the bottom. Oh, look at the guy on the nipple again. God damn, this bug got an end. Anyway, at the bottom, don't get it twisted, man. I'm still getting sore, man. You got jokes. Uh, at the bottom, you want to kind of like bring the ball down and like, you know, kind of like, kind of like what Ronnie Coleman does. You know, he stays at the bottom and do, does partial reps. People say, oh, that's bad form, that's bad form. Shut the fuck up. There's actually a study that shows the importance of um, stress overload and X reps, and I'm going to mention that right now. Uh, so when when he put that on my page, I was like, oh, you know what? He he woke up something I completely forgot about because I made a video about that once, and I, after that I put it you know in, in, on the back burner. So I went back and I found out this crazy study, guys. Check this out. Uh, you guys know I like sharing my secrets with y'all. I was gonna keep this to myself, but most of y'all already know this. Um, a lot of y'all don't. Stress overload leads to muscle hyperplasia. Hyperplasia is pretty much the splitting of muscle cells. You know, people think that hypertrophy means your your, your muscle cells swell, or you have um, myofibular hypertrophy, which is when your your um your fibers are damaged and have to rebuild stronger. But hyperplasia, if it fucking exists, I'm just reading what they're saying, is when your body actually creates your your muscles are actually split. Them bitches actually fucking double. It's fucking crazy. I wish, you know, I knew how to start that shit. But how the scientists came to that conclusion, um it was in nineteen ninety four. I'm gonna read this to you. The study in question was performed back in 1994. The researchers progressively added weight to the, a bird's wing. So they took a fucking bird, like baby Pidgeotto or some shit, and they put um, weight to its wings. And the intent was to increase the size of its latissimus dorsi, you know, like the bird's wings are actually attached kind of like his lats, kind of like humans. And so they put weights on his wings, you know, for like, you know, a certain amount of time, and they would do that every two days. So they would do it for a day. And two days later, do it again. Kind of like a little, you know, the bird has a little back split, you know, three-day split, whatever you want to call it. And they, were, they kept increasing the weight after a period of weeks. And um, but, you know, obviously, the bird can't fly. The bird is just walking around, kind of like doing farmer walks and shit. And it can't fly because the weight is too heavy. And they notice, and this was this was like a crazy breakthrough in, in science. Um, after 28 stretch overload days, they call it stretch overload, you know, because you're stretching the muscle. There's no contraction taking place because the bird could not lift its wing. So it's straight stretching. After 28 days, the researchers recorded a 334% increase in the bird's muscle mass of its lats. So that motherfucking bird was like on Bruce Lee status. And um, in case you haven't realized, that's uh, the guy even said, in case you haven't realized, that's, a, that's more than a 300% increase in muscle mass. I don't know if you guys realize what 300% increase means that bird I, I wanted to see a picture of that bird too bad it's not on the internet i haven't found it yet but um so they realized that um stress overload to a muscle uh with increasing progressive overload after, after a few weeks you keep increasing the weight leads to probably hyperplasia and they said it has to be hyperplasia because it's impossible nearly impossible for muscles to get that big over such a short period of time 28 fucking days now, obviously it's a bird and you know you know they're a little different but you gotta understand Birds are not animals are not that different from humans. We are very close to animals in, in terms of you know skeletal muscle, and um, that doesn't mean that everyone who, who does that technique is gonna have the same results. But just to show you guys to to kind of like you know make a light bulb go up um, that you don't have to number one you don't have to contract the muscle to make it grow because when you are pulling on the muscle it contracts by itself because the people don't know that when you pulling on your arm your traps contract. You don't have to do this to you know. To uh, as the only way to contract the muscle. If I'm pulling your arm, the bitch contracts to keep your arm attached to your um, shoulder girdle. That's why I mentioned in another video. That's why deadlifts increase the size of you know powerlifters' traps. If you think about it, when you're deadlifting, you're not struggling. You're just pulling the weight up. But what happens when you pull like five, six hundred pounds? Your fucking arms are trying to get ripped off. So your straps isometrically contract, meaning they contract without changing lengths. 
they contract to keep your arm attached and they don't shrug they just bring the weight up and after a few weeks of that heavy deadlifting a lot of people have reported in crazy increase in the size of the traps um so that's also a case of stress overload where you're not contracting you're stretching now how can you implement that to your workout routine like i said i'm not going to look for studies if uh if I'm, i can apply it to my fucking training space well um I looked at a lot of websites online. A lot of people talked about it because, like I said, it's a crazy study. Um, people have realized that you couldn't you, you could implement that for everybody. But when you're doing back, very important to you know like stretch. The, if you're doing barbell rolls, that's why it's important to do that full range of motion. Not just because it sounds nice, but because at the bottom, if the weight is heavy, you put in intense stretch overload on your lats, and then you're bringing it back up. Ronnie Coleman is another guy who really emphasized the stretch overload. He he's really big on getting a full stretch when it comes to certain exercises. Um, for chest, if you if you watch Pumping Iron, you notice Arnold used to come all the way down at the bottom here and do like partial reps at the bottom. That's X reps, that's stretch overload. That's why flies are so good for, for building your chest because, believe it or not, the most important part of the flies is at the bottom portion when you're stretching your chest, not at the top. Um, that's unless you're working your inner pecs. Uh, for lats, again, you can do pullovers, get that stretch at the bottom. And, if, and after you've done your 10 or 12 reps or 6 to 8, whatever rep range you're doing, the last rep, you might just want to hold it for a while, keep that stretch going. Biceps, uh, you could do incline bicep curls, you know, when you incline. And, you know, you kind of like try to keep the stretch on your bicep at the at the mid-range of motion. Well, not mid, like the first two inches up. Triceps, you could do overhead extension and let the weight stretch your tricep. So there's many ways to implement that on um, hamstrings, stiff-legged dead, you know, you know, deadlifts. So just look for ways to add at least one stretching, one stretch overload exercise to each of your routines, back, biceps, whatever, and, um, you know, look for gains. I just read that like a week ago, so I'm going to try to implement that into my routine. I've already started, uh, especially my lagging body parts. Now, for shoulders, I really don't know how you can really, like, stretch your, your front delts, but I keep looking. Um, if you can think of something, write it down below. But anyway, hope this helps. Like I said, I love sharing secrets with you guys. Uh, if you want to find a study, just go to Google and type stretch over, type stress overload, hyperplasia, or type bird study, some shit like that. You you, you find it. It's a really really interesting find. Um, stress overload. All right, guys. Hope that helps. Hyperplasia, and um, remember to dominate. Team 3D.